Yo what's up guys current plays here and welcome to the second episode of the Real Madrid career mode In the last episode we signed Paul Pogba from Manchester United for 60 million plus Lucas Vasquez In his debut game he didn't do anything too exciting but yeah he was involved in the build up for the second goal I had asked you guys what should be done about Gareth Bale and James Rodriguez and you guys told me to sell both of them and bring back Martin Odegaard so I've gone ahead and done just that because I always listen to you guys so keep those comments flowing And another interesting comment that I read was to sell Mariano. I don't know why guys, but I was always under the impression that this guy is 21, 22 or max to max 23. But if you're 26 years old and you're just 79 rated, I don't think you deserve to be in the Real Madrid team. Here he is guys, the prodigal son returns to the Santiago Bernabéu. He'll be donning the number 17 jersey and I've also gone ahead and changed Paul Pogba's kit number to number 6 from number 19. So in the next match, we'll probably be seeing Paul Pogba in the number 6 jersey and Martin Odegaard with the number 17 jersey. And as the number 6 jersey is gone to Paul Pogba, Nacho Fernandez will now be wearing number 19. In this episode we have two La Liga games, one against Real Valladolid and the next one against Villarreal. So the Villarreal game will be a tough one. And by that time I'm looking to sign at least one or maybe two more players. We've got an interesting transfer news. We've got an offer from Napoli for Federico Valverde. And guys, I'm not looking to sell Valverde, so I'm going to reject offers, and I'm going to block all future offers for Valverde and for Rafael Varane. I'm not looking to sell either of them. And we've even got a text message from Gareth Bale. Oh wow, he's actually glad that you know we are selling him. So you know what? I'll just tell him that I'm just exploring. Here we go, guys. We've got a transfer offer for James Rodriguez from Tottenham Hotspur for 25 million. And you know what guys I'm going to go ahead and accept that because that will free up a lot of cash for any other transfers that we might be looking to make. More transfer news guys. Manchester City have come up with a 71 million offer for Casemiro. I don't know why Manchester City are just after our players man. No way am I selling Casemiro. Block all offers for Casemiro and for Vinicius Jr. I don't know why but clubs are just after our top players. Oh guys, Max Arons is being approached by FC Augsburg and You know what? I actually would like to see Max Arons be our backup right back. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in a transfer offer for him. Okay, so negotiations with Norwich City have begun for Max Arons. Let's see. Augsburg had offered them 6.4 million, I think so. So, we might just have to offer them 7 million. Let's see. Will they accept that? That's fair. They can agree with that. They also want a 7%. Sure, why not? I need him. I want him. But yep, the deal is done, guys. We might get Max Arons. All we have to do is now negotiate with the player. Let's go ahead and get that done too. So the role I'm going to be offering him is a rotation role. So he'll get a little bit of game time, and he's pretty happy with that role. Uh, four years is perfect from my side. Why not? 15.7 million no i don't want a release clause let's uh, adjust the signing bonus let's make it for 20 appearances and the wages let's get it down to 30000 i guess that's fine for max adams i mean he's probably he's almost earning double the amount he's earning right now so let's see will they accept that uh you know what sure that's absolutely fine perfect guys there we have it guys our second signing of this real madrid career mode series max arons has signed for real madrid and he's going to be donning the number 29 jersey and you know what guys let's take a look at the other top deals that has happened koulibaly has signed for barcelona for 95 million guys kai havertz to manchester united they have used that paul pogba money and thiago alcantara has followed Pep Guardiola from Bayern Munich to Manchester City. Guys, you've gone ahead and accepted the transfer offer for Mariano from Chelsea for 15.8 million. That will free up a lot of wages and bring in the cash we need for other deals. Here we have it guys, our first match of this episode. I've changed the formation from the 4-3-3 false nine to a 4-3-3 attack. I've brought on Rodrigo instead of Vinicius Jr, Isco instead of Paul Pogba, Modric replaces Toni Kroos. And Marcelo has come in place of Ferland Mendy. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the game. Here we go, guys. 
Our first match in the Santiago Bernabeu. Let's go, guys. Let's get the win. First half kicks off. Hatem Benafa on the ball, guys. We know what he can do. Nacho back to Benafa. Waldo on the ball now. Back to Nacho. Nacho crosses it in, but Ramos is there to take charge. Now we have a chance, maybe on the counter attack. Isco plays it to Benzema. Benzema back to Modric. Modric to Benzema. Benzema trying to find it. Hazard. Hazard with the ball. Can he get it? Ah, no. That was a great save from their keeper. Hazard just couldn't find the back of the net. To Modric. Modric plays it to Isco. Benzema isn't making any runs, guys. Or maybe now he is. That's a great ball from Rodrigo to Benzema. Come on, Benzema. Come on. 1-0 to us in the 24th minute. Karim Benzema, as soon as I diss him, he just goes on and proves me wrong. There he is celebrating with Luka Jovic and Martin Odegaard. That was a brilliant run and a brilliant ball from Rodrigo. That was a fantastic finish too from Benzema. Composed, finesses it into the bottom left. Whew, that was a brilliant run from F1 Karim Benzema. Karim, the dream. Benzema has made it 1-0. He gets our first goal at the Santiago Bernabeu. Okay, now they have a chance. Pabon on the ball. Marcelo's trying to keep up with his pace. Tries to stop the cross. Modric and Modric shouldn't get the ball back. Ha ben Alfa with a great cross and Serhi Guardiola misses their first big chance. That was a great cross by Hatem Ben Alfa. We know what Ben Alfa can do. But Serhi Guardiola nearly made it one all. And that's it for the first half, guys. They get the second half underway. Guys, I think it's time we sub off Isco. He hasn't done much in this game. Luka Modric. Plays it to Marcelo. You know what? Let's give him one last chance. One last attack. Before we sub him off. Back to Isco. That's Isco's chance. But no, he couldn't take it. I'm bringing off Isco for Martin Odegaard. And you know what? Let's give Adam Militao some game time. Let's bring on Luka Jovic too. So a triple substitution in the 59th minute. That's a great ball by Casemiro to Luka Jovic. Jovic! Oh, that was a brilliant save by Jordi Massip. That was a great run by Luka Jovic and a great ball from Casemiro too. Ah, you know what? In hindsight, it would have been better if I tried the shot with the left foot into the near post because Jovic does have that 5 star weak foot. Plays it to Hazard. Hazard to Odegaard. Odegaard to Jovic. That's brilliant. That's a brilliant through ball for Jovic. Does he have the pace? Oh, please, Rodrigo, don't be offside. He's not offside. Oh my god. That was a great ball from Jovic. Oh, this is brilliant from Odegaard. Plays it in. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Eden Hazard gets his first goal. And a header too. And that was a brilliant cross from Odegaard. Whew. Eden Hazard gets his first goal at the Santiago Bernabeu. 2-0 to us in the 69th minute. That was brilliant work from Odegaard. Jovic, everyone. That was a brilliant skill move. Rodrigo tied the initial header, but it was cleared by Masip. And Hazard puts it in the back of the net. 2 0 to us. Easy as you like. Luka Modric now to Odegaard. What can you do here, guys? Oh, that's fantastic from Odegaard. He's done it, guys. Can he score? Oh! Oh my god, just the finishing that was lacking there. But that was a brilliant run from Odegaard. That is why we brought him back. And guys, looking at your Odegaard play, it's going to be very hard for Tony Cruz and Pogba now. Odegaard is providing some tough competition for that midfield spot. Hazard back on the ball. Plays it to Odegaard. Odegaard looking for Jovic. That's brilliant from Jovic. Brilliant turn. Oh, come on. Dude, that should have gone in, Jovic. I don't know what was happening there, but Jovic should have finished that one. Should have buried it. Still 2 0, guys. And that's probably going to be the last chance of this half. And that's it, guys. Second half done. We've won this match 2 0. Karim Benzema and Eden Hazard are goal scorers. Well, guys, before getting into the next match, I would like to talk about the squad a bit. We've got enough depth in our midfield, and our right back situation is also sorted now. Our centre backs, we have four decent centre backs. Even in our left back role, we've got Mendy and Marcelo. Our left wing role also seems to be sorted. We have got Hazard, Vinicius Jr. and Asensio. But the right wing role. Guys, that right wing role, Vinicius Jr. isn't a natural right winger. He can play there and he's done a decent job up till now. But I'm looking for a deadly man who will spearhead the attack. 
I'm pretty sure most of you all guessed who it is. It's Kylian Mbappe, the man every Real Madrid fan wants to see in that white shirt. We're going to go ahead and try and sign him. So guys, I checked our transfer budget and we've got about 150 million. I guess let's start off with 120 million and if they agree with this that'd be fantastic. I don't think so, but let's hope. Okay, they want 157 million for him. Let's counter with say uh 140 140 million we you know what 145 million and if that's not accepted let's count over 150 million 145 million oh perfect we might just get Kylian Mbappe in this episode guys i'm excited and i'm pretty sure you guys must be too there they are guys Kylian Mbappe entering with his agent Okay so Mbappe's role at the club obviously it's going to be a crucial role okay he wants a 5 year deal even i want a 5 year deal i want to keep him at the club as long as possible oh perfect he doesn't want a release clause that's perfect sure okay he wants 185k per week that's okay signing bonus of 1.8 million and 5 million when he scores 15 goals for the club you know what let's make that let's edit the bonus let's make it 6 million and i want him to be at least a 20 goal a season striker or a right winger so yep and the signing bonus and the wages are pretty fine here we have it guys kylian mbappe has signed for real madrid look at him guys the number 11 jersey obviously he's taken it from gareth bale this is just fantastic guys and before our second match i'd like to look at the la liga table Okay, we are comfortably in first place. Sevilla is behind us, and Villarreal have won one and drawn one, and our next match is against them. So that's going to be an interesting match. We've got a transfer offer for Bale for forty-three million. Leicester City are looking like an ambitious team. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and accept that. We've got a transfer offer for Daniel Carvajal, and you know what, guys? I'm not looking to sell Carvajal, so I'm going to block all offers for him. Okay this is interesting guys we've got another offer for Gareth Bale for 45 million So you know what I'm going to accept that and hopefully he goes to Lyon that gives us more money Okay guys Gareth Bale has been sold and so has been Mariano so we've got a lot of transfer budget but guys I think the squad is pretty decent now we've got a lot of depth we've got quite a few number of right wingers we've got now we've got obviously we've got this guy right here where is he There he is guys he's going straight into my starting 11 we've got a lot of depth in each and every one of our positions so guys i think that's that's it for the transfers for this at least this window and i hope we can compete in each and every competition with this team okay guys on the deadline day we've got a loan offer from my marco asensio from chelsea and you know what guys this might be an unpopular decision but i am going to accept that We've got a lot of players in the attacking roles and in that midfield role. So yeah, I'm going to accept this and uh, we might see Marco Asensio go to Chelsea for a one year loan. Okay, Spurs have come in with an offer for Karim Benzema. And you know what guys? I'm not going to accept that obviously because I need Benzema, I need Jovic. I need all of my attackers now that I'm looking to sell, sorry, loan Asensio out. So I'm not looking to sell any of my forwards now. So that's it guys the transfer window the summer transfer window has ended and Asensio has been loaned out All in all I think we've done pretty well in the transfer window we've got in few big names we've recalled Martin Odegaard from loan and we've brought Max Arens who we are going to develop into a great backup right back Match number 2 and we've gone back to the 4-3-3 false nine Paul Pogba and Cruz come in for Isco and Modric and obviously Mbappe is going to start this game guys. He comes in for Rodrigo. Ferlin Mendy replaces Marcelo and Max Arens also comes on for his debut replacing Daniel Carvajal. So let's get into game number 2 guys. So here we have it guys, probably our toughest test of the series yet. Villarreal away. In the two matches they played, they've won one and drawn one. We've won both of our matches. So we need Paul Pogba and Mbappe to step up and let us continue that winning streak. and they get the first half underway max arens passes it to rafael varan varan what the, what is varan doing there guys what is varan doing who sergio ramos bails us out and that's a free kick guys that's a free kick yep tony cruz from 18 yards come on 
I need to score this. I mean, it will be embarrassing if I don't. Okay, come on. Okay, well, it's embarrassing. Hazard intercepts. Benzema looking for Mbappe. Will he get his first goal, guys? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Kylian Mbappe has done what he does best. He has scored his first goal on his debut in the 25th minute against Villarreal. That was brilliant play by Hazard to get the ball back and then Benzema with a brilliant dink for Mbappe and he finesses it coolly. 1-0 to us. Mbappe's first goal in a Real Madrid t-shirt. Okay, Mendy intercepts. Looking for Hazard but gives it away. Cheaply, Santi goes all on the ball but Mendy gets it back. Now gives it to Gassi. He gives it away again. What is Mendy doing, man? What is Mendy doing? And they have a chance now and a brilliant, brilliant save by Courtois. A powerful shot by Gerard Moreno and Courtois was equal to it. Okay, Mbappe has a lot of ground to cover. A lot of free space. A lot of free space for Mbappe. Takes the shot. And he misses. What was that, Mbappe? I mean, come on, dude. He had a lot of time. Uh, just past the post. That was... That was so bad, Mbappe. Come on, I expect more from you, man. Okay, guys, we've got problems here. Casemiro is injured. So, I have to bring on Luka Modric for Casemiro because I don't want to risk him aggravating that injury by playing for a longer time. Uh, should we play Modric in that CDM role, though? You know what, I'll play Pogba in that CDM role. He's more accustomed to it. Let's get on with the game. And that's it for the first half. The first half ends... 1-0 to us, thanks to a Kylian Mbappe goal. We get the second half underway. Okay, we've lost out the possession too. Oh my god, that was horrendous defending by me. Why didn't I clear it there, man? I've gifted them a goal. Fall and Mendy with abysmal defending there. And then the ball falls straight to the striker, who gives it to the right mid, and the right mid finds the back of the net. Thibaut Courtois did get a hand onto it, but the strike was powerful enough for it to go into the net. We get the last chance of the half. Mbappe on the ball. Plays it to Paul Pogba. That's brilliant from Pogba. Takes a long shot. It's saved, but Martin Odegaard is there. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. 2-1 in the 93rd minute. That's just brilliant, guys. Brilliant play from Mbappe. Plays it out to Pogba. Pogba with a long shot. The keeper saves it. And then Martin Odegaard, brilliant attacking positioning and he gets the rebound and makes it 2-1 to us in the, with the last kick of the game, guys. Woo! We've done it, guys. We've overcome the Villarreal test and that's gonna be it for the second half. Game done. That was an interesting match. We've won it 2-1. Brilliant character shown by the team. So guys, after three matches played, we've got three wins and we're level on points with Atletico Madrid and Sevilla. We're in third because of goal difference. And Barcelona are down in sixth position. After that loss in the first match, they've won two of their matches. Guys, I need a better formation, so you guys suggest what formation I should be looking at. Because Benzema or Jovic, whoever the striker is, he gets very isolated. So I'm thinking of a 4-3-2-1 maybe next time. You guys leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. That's it for today's episode guys. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to leave a like. Can we hit 15 likes again this time? You guys mashed it last time. Thank you all for the amazing support. And do not forget to subscribe and press that bell icon so you all never miss another episode.